My name is Landon, and this is the April 22nd episode of Walker News coming to you from our very own Walker Elementary. April is the 112th day of the year. There are 253 days remaining until the end of 2022. Everyone, please stand for the Walker Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance, Emblem of Silence, and a safety video from our safety team. Put your Walker W's proudly in the air. Put your right hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. When the fire alarm sounds, listen to the teacher's instructions. Once outside, remain calm. Welcome back. Today we would like to wish a happy birthday first graders Nadia Martinez and Maria Gomez, second graders Cindy Alex and Leela Dogma. We also have Brock Anderson in third grade. There are no Wildcat birthdays tomorrow. On Sunday we have Vanessa Samaltry in first grade and Emma Anderson in second grade and fourth graders. Brand Rear and Phil Buntak. Happy birthday, Wildcats! Stay with us. This day in history is up next. Hello, Wildcats. My name is Aiden. Today is Friday, April 22nd. Today's highlight in history is in 1864, the U.S. Congress passed the Coinage Act of 1864, which led to In God We Trust being printed on the U.S. coins. The phrase was eventually added to all of the country's currency. The Coinage Act of 1864 was a United States federal law that passed on April 22, 1864, which changed the makeup of the one-cent coin and was, and was authorized the minting of the two-cent coin. The director of the U.S. Mint developed the designs for these coins for final approval of the Secretary of the Treasury. As a result of this law, the phrase, In God We Trust, first appeared on the 1864 two-cent coin. An act of Congress passed on March 3, 1865, allowed, allowed the Mint Director to change the wording on the coin and God we trust. Stay tuned for the weekend weather forecast.
Greetings, Wildcats. My name is Grayson, and I am here to report your weather for the weekend. It appears that all weekend has a chance of rain. The temperatures range from lows in the 40s to a high of 70. If you plan to be outside, make sure you bring a rain jacket. Stay with us for the joke of the day is up next. My name is Christopher, and hopefully this joke will get you laughing in the laughing spirit. Here it goes. What do you get when you cross a snow with a porcupine? A slow pin. <laughs> Ouch, I would hate to step on that. Did you know there really is a porcupine snow? It is also known as a horned armor snail. Up next, we have the quote of the day. Greetings, Wildcats. Get ready for the quote of the day. My name is Rachel, and today's quote is, No one is perfect. That's why pencils have erasers by Wolfgang Reeb. This is so true. There isn't anyone who's perfect. If you're doing your best, that is all anyone can ask of you. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Kyrie, and I'm here to report the events coming up during April and May at school. We are collecting items for our mom shop. We are looking for gently new or gently used items that students can use as a Mother's Day gift. If, we, if you would like to donate an item, bring it to school and deliver it to Ms. Wright's room. We are now collecting 200 HDPE number two bottles, no milk or water jugs, to try to earn a recycled bench for our playground. Collection bin is by the bus drive doors next to Lawson Found. Next week, third grade ACT Aspire testing week, fourth and fifth grade, and math testing. April 29th to 15th, 4th, 5th, 4th and 5th grade ACT Aspire Assembly. May 2nd through 6th, 4th and 5th grade ACT Aspire Testing Week. Please avoid out of, please avoid out of school appointments and 3rd grade map testing. May 4th, walk, bike, and roll to school. May 12th, walk your family night. Neon theme, 6, 6 to 7.30. May 9th, first grade pro program and PTA meeting at 6 o'clock p.m. May 16th, talent show tryouts. May 18th, senior walk at 1.30. And May 20th, Steam Day. Have a great day, Wildcats, and remember to work hard, play hard, and make great choices.